Hello, welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, something that existed well from 1918 all the way to about 1981. That's when the company closed down. It was called the American Seed Company out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And what it was basically, it was a company that had seed, bags of seeds, little packets of seeds actually, and kids went around door to door selling them for well, about 40 cents back in 1976. I don't know, probably maybe a little less in earlier times, but what it was basically was kids, they would send packets of seeds to kids and the kids could go around the neighborhood and try to sell packs to, to neighbors and imagine it was probably pretty hard to get people to, to do something like that. Um, unless you had a neighborhood where everybody was into gardening or had an awful lot of friends or had a great ability to sell stuff, which some people do. Some people could sell ice to an Eskimo, as they say. But um, basically, what it, the way it worked, the kids would, I believe, um, sell the seeds and send the money back to the company, and they'd, they'd earn points and would be able to choose various prizes. And that's what I'm going to get into in a minute. Um, here's where I, or I found this. This was in the back of a Dennis the Menace comic book. And I used to I, I bought comics books between 1972 and 1975, and I never was interested in doing anything like that. I, I tried back in, when I was in Huntsville, and the Cub Scouts trying to sell Boy Scout Expedition tickets and door-to-door, -door and only sold two, and Okinawa tried to do the same thing, tried to sell Boy Scout Scoutorama tickets, and only sold a few. So there, it's, it's not easy to get people to, especially trying to get people to buy seeds. How many people actually plant would, would want them and plant them. Like I said, the person's got to either have a lot of friends or doing it to help them or they're, they're, they're great at, at selling stuff, one of, one of, one of two things. Um, <clears throat> here's, bait, here's the advertisement right here. It has testimonies from various kids that have sold the seeds, and I'm going to get into that in a minute. And these were the coupons that you filled out to send, and you could give another one to a friend. And these were the various prizes that were available for selling a, a certain amount um, earning points so basically I'm gonna take a look take a look at this I'm actually gonna need the magnifying glass to be able to read this this thing this writing is so small it says make make money get prizes with fast selling American seeds take your choice of 100 wonderful prizes you can earn as many as you want quickly easily I don't know about that easily quickly easily most prizes shown here and many more in our pri big prize book are given without cost for selling just one 45-pack order of American vegetable and flower seeds at 40 cents a pack. Some of the larger prizes require more sales or extra money, as explained in the big prize book. So I guess some of them, you didn't matter how many you sold, you actually had to send them some, some, more, some money as well. Send no money, we trust you. Interesting. <laughs> Everybody wants American seeds. They're fresh. And ready to grow. I don't know about that. Everybody wants them. You'll sell them quickly to family, friends, and neighbors. Many boys and girls sell their packs in one day. Nah, I don't believe that one either. You two can get your prize at once. At once. Or if you want money instead of a prize. Keep $6 for every 45 pack order you sell. There's no risk. Any unsold packs may be returned. Interesting. And this is what the packs of seeds look like. And let's go on. Order now. Your prize is ready. Mail coupon and envelope today for your seeds and big prize book. Give the other coupon to a friend. <laughs> Try to get one of your friends to go around doing something like that, too. At the time when I was buying the comic books, between those years, I was living in Okinawa and on a military basis, and it wouldn't have been practical to try to do something like that there. And I wouldn't, I mean, even if I lived in the United States, I, would, I wouldn't have tried something like that. Even as a kid, I, I knew how difficult it would have been to try to sell something like that to people, get people to buy, buy those things. And it says American Seed Company, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, our 58th year. And this comic book is, let me see here, it's March 1976 edition of Dennis the Menace. $6,400 awarded in our promptness contest in addition to the prizes and money you can earn selling seeds. Complete information is sent with your big prize book and seeds. I don't actually have one of the prize books, but 
I, I can I can read off what what the prizes were. You could get an instant load camera, girls travel case, microscope sets, roller derby skates, all purpose shoes, pocket calculator, engine powered Mustang. That's a plane, toy plane. That's what I mean by engine powered Mustang, not the, not the car. Complete archery sets, swim set, stopwatch, wrist watches, <clears throat> junior guitars, baseball gloves, basketball and goal, transistor radio, 30 power telescope, that would probably be the expensive one, four player, four player badminton, tennis set, cassette tape recorder, croquet set, pitchback, nylon mountain tent, complete fishing sets, volleyball set, Polaroid clincher, chemistry sets, that's probably another one that would take extra money, sleeping bag, bike speedometers, action knife sets, three-speed bikes, that's probably another one that would, would, would take extra money, and model rocketry. So these are the basic prizes, and I'll try to give you, give you a little bit of a look at them, what I was reading off. Get a little closer here. And like I said, these are the testimonies of the various kids that sold the, the seeds. I'll go ahead and read these testimonies. Need the magnifying glass. This writing is very small. One does not need much experience to buy. I'm sorry. One does not need much experience to sell American Seeds because American Seeds Company gives you all the information you need to know to sell the seeds. Boy from Maryland. It's easy to order, easy to sell, and it's easy to win prize selling American Seeds. Guy from Puerto Rico. I still don't know how these things are are easy to sell, unless you unless these people are good at sales at selling things, which some people are. There are so many seeds in the packets that most packets than most packets you sell today. Girl from New York. People say, "Why go shopping when the seeds are at at the door?" Guy from Ohio. Well, depends on whether you want the seeds or not. Everyone seemed to want them. At school, I actually drew crowds. Girl from Alabama. Interesting. I don't know how you would draw crowds on that, especially with other other kids. Several of my customers were prize winners at the county fair last summer. Seed sales went up this year. Guy from Nebraska. The people never frowned when I asked them to buy American seeds. The packets, the, the packs are full of and worth the money. Girl from North Dakota. American seeds. American needs. I'm sorry. America needs American seeds. Boy from. Missouri. And last one, many companies have reduced quality to save money, but American seeds have remained at the same high quality since I began selling them 11 years ago. Boy from Ohio. In interesting. I wanted to try to you know, get, get some information off the internet about, about, these, about these seeds. Like I said, I imagine kids trying to go knock on people's doors and trying to, trying to get these, trying to sell these things to people. I don't, I don't know, like I said, how, how they, how they pulled Pulled that off. Here's an article I found on, or excerpt, excerpts from an article I found, and on the internet from the New York Times. Topics youthful indiscretions bent twigs. When uh, I won't say the boy's name was 10 years old, he probably had a paper route listening to Jack Armstrong, and in response to an ad in a comic book, sold seeds for the American Seed Company for more than 60 years. It ca its catalogs, catalog says selling our garden-tested seeds has become part of the American way of growing up. It's ba they're basically, I guess, teaching kids the um, the concept of free enterprise. Now, however, American Seed is closing its doors, done in by the dishonesty of its juvenile sales force. The company works on the honor system. We'll send you the seeds free. You split the proceeds with us. But a growing number of the school children do not. <laughs> Nearly half of them have been pocketing all the cash and no longer what boy's name, but artful dodgers. So interesting interesting how how that how that happened. The kids kids um I guess it was tempting. They they sold them they instead of sending the money back to the company, they just kept the money. <laughs> interesting how that how that led to the company's demise going to go further with this. A company spokesman blames Watergate implying a government-led decline in morality. I don't know about that. I'm, probably kids, I don't, don't know how many kids under, 
actually at that time understood the Watergate situation. The children were done. Blame it on everything from theft to the rigors of unpacking after a vacation. Their parents blame greed. The companies, not their kids. But there has never been any evidence of chicane chicanery by American Seed. The question now is what kind of oaks will grow out of this group of ac acorns? <laughs> Interesting. And I'm going to find another another excerpt from the New York Times. Or not, I'm sorry, not the New York Times, but time, actually, um, Time Magazine. Let me see if I can get find that article. Here we go. Youth Gone to Seed. Get to, get to this article. For more than six decades, this is from October 12, 1981, from New York, from um, Time Magazine. I don't know why I keep saying New York Times. <clears throat> Excuse me. For more than six decades, American Seed Company of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, provided thousands of youngsters with their first seeds and free enterprise. Grade school children scampered about their neighborhoods selling the firm's garden seeds for a chance to share in the profits and win prizes like bicycles and baseball mitts. But now American Seed has gone out of business, the victim of childhood corruption. <laughs> Since 1975, some 400,000 young business people have sent away for the seeds, but then pocketed all the sales receipts instead of returning part of the money to the company as payment for the seed. <laughs> that's, that's very, very interesting. Uh, kids, I guess, like I said, the whole that whole concept was tempt It was a tempting thing, and pro kids probably didn't sell, weren't able to sell that many anyway. And probably what little they did, they probably did actually pocket the money. I did see one thing from some some man that said when when he was a when he was a boy he got um got in, involved in that and he he sold only a few packs and what few packs he sold he bought candy with and then his parents started getting letters and he said he was in all kinds of trouble over that for for doing that but that um honor system probably wasn't wasn't the best best thing in in the world maybe you know maybe at, at the beginning it it may it may have worked may have worked better, but when you know as as morals changed, it, it just it, it went went downhill. Probably kid, parents were probably more involved with with their kids doing this at, at the time, and after a while, kids were probably just sending these things in, and and parents didn't even you know paying attention to the fact that they were doing they were trying to sell the seeds, and it's like you know I'm going to sell seeds like what whatever. Then that's probably basically the way way they thought. But I thought that was kind of funny that kids started into ended up pocketing money into the so corruption with with children led to the demise of the american seed company <laughs> and i just I, I don't know i found the thing amusing probably, probably shouldn't but I, I i did and as i've said before like subscribe share looking for a partner as always thanks for watching